All right, folks, Robert here again with more Revit precast. I'm going to do a core floor for you guys because I didn't get it to work. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to my framing plan here. And as you can see, I've got a piece of plank in here. So I'm going to tile these views right quick. And there's our plank in section and plan and our 3D view, which you probably don't need, but we'll leave it open. So now here, I've got to raise this guy up. I've got to pick this guy up, and this is going to go up uh, one foot one. So here, we'll select one space one, and here as well. So that should be okay. So that's at the right level. If Rivet will hurry up, it's so slow. So that's about good. We could probably drop it down an inch or two, but you know, you might want to put shim plates in there or something. I mean, that's really getting detailed, but you know, some precasters want it, and it's a good thing. So now I'm going to just do a quick little array here. So I'm going to select this guy, and I'm going to hit array. And I've got uh, second to last here, so I'm going to just go from here to here. And then right here, I'm going to say, I don't know how many we got here. Let's say 15. I'm just guessing now. And there's our plank, and we need one more. Should have said 16, so I'm going to undo that back if it'll hurry up. So I'm going to undo this back here. Undo. So I'm going to select this guy again. Array. Second. Okay. I'm going to select this one here to there. And then we zoom out and let's say 16 planks or core floor slabs. And there you go. So now here, okay, just let it grind away there. Okay, so now right here, we've got this piece that's a little bit longer. Let me shut this down now. Oh, let's tap these guys. Okay, now. Here we got this plank and it's just overhanging. So we can go here, we can select it. We need to be ungrouped because you used an array. Okay, so now let's grab it again. So now we can edit and modify this. So this is an eight foot cut length. So we're gonna drop this down to, let's say seven. Well, now let's go with six. Okay, and then we can just shift this guy over into place. And we're all good. Let's have a look at this now. Yep, yeah, looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just take one of these guys here. Actually, let's do this one on the end. Since it's already in group, I'm gonna select this one and I'm going to mirror it from this point. Okay. And that's where I want it to be. Oh, no, I don't. I think what happened there. Okay. So, uh, and better yet, so for the easy, for us to just do another beam here or a plank family. So I'll go beam. It's already set there. Let's go place them there. And let's go to right up to this point here. Okay, now and then we got to change the elevation here to one one. Okay, got a little problem here, so I think I can fix this. So I'm gonna. 
disallow this join here. And see if it'll let me just drag this back to there. Okay. And the same with this one here. I'm going to disallow this join here. And just drag this back. Yeah, back in the day, this is how we did this. It's not too bad, but, you know. Uh, it's it's good. You, you get the actual families in your model that you need. No one just slide this guy over here. I should just move it. Okay, come right to this point here. And now we'll do another one right here. So we'll select this guy. And again, I'm going to go from this point to move to second here. And then we we'll want to say how many. Let's go 14 since. OK, so we got two extras. So I'm going to do, I'm going to ungroup these guys. Ungroup that one and drop it off. I'll ungroup this one. And I'll change the cut length here to, I guess we can go, let's go four here. Hey, okay, there you go. And we'll just move this over into place here. Now, let's go have a look at this in 3D view. So that's looking good. So now, um, you can do a few things here with this. Okay, look what happened there. I didn't change that height. So now what I've got to do, oh, I thought I did. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll fix that later. So what we can also do here, let's go into our floor plan, brew, our framing plan. And we can create openings. So I'm going to just... Uh, Select this guy here, this one, and I want to ungroup it, and I want to go to back down to my structure tab, and I want to do a cut by face, and I'll select this piece, and then I'll do a opening right, say here, yeah. and I'll finish. Okay, so we've got an opening there. So let's have a look in 3D. So there you go. There's an opening we have. So hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll fix this other stuff over here. In the meantime, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And thanks for you guys for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. Thanks again. Bye. See you in the next video. Everybody, please be safe. Bye.